Okay guys, I'm back with another layout share, leaving off where I was on part three. This is part four, <clears throat> and this again is the Hello Again collection by Crate Paper, no, Cartabella, Cartabella. And I love their paper because it's so thick and pretty. So I basically used up the whole collection. Um, that was kind of a challenge to myself. So you're going to see a lot of that. And this is the sticker sheet and just some random buttons that I had in my stash. And this is a metal piece that I had in my stash. And everything else, well, this is Prima. Um, or maybe it's not Prima. I think I got this at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Mm, I can't remember. But um, there's like music notes and butterflies and something else I have. Um, and then this is from Pebbles, the little frames. And this is Ormolu. And I think everything else is the um, Hello Again collection. So that's that one. This one is more of the watercolor stuff that I do. Um, basically it was a piece of paper from my Studio Calico kit and I just sprayed it up here and kind of it was so heavy. Actually I poured it out and it was so heavy that I, when I went like this it just kind of went that way and so it's really shimmery. I used a bunch of wood veneers and some more of the sticker sheet from Hello Again. And this twine, I was trying to make it look like these were hanging off of the twine. And um, in little two by two, these are just scrap pieces of paper that I took my My Favorite Things Polaroid die and cut out and then put the two by two pictures inside. And so I thought it turned out really cute again with the bows that I love, 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 love. And most of these are Dear Lizzie. Um, and then just some random wood veneers I've collected. This one is a really old stash. I don't even know who makes this paper, but um, I did get to use my favorite thickers, which are the rubbery Amy Chan ones. I need to get some more of those. I have them in gray and hot pink. And this, I believe, is Kaiser Craft from years ago came in a collection set. This is super old. Came in um, a little set of a bunch of cutouts that are like that. I don't know if you can no, you probably can't see it under there, but this one came together pretty fast. A little bit of washi tape here. And then same one over here. And so this was just old stuff. Of course I pulled some ephemera from my stash. Uh, this one I wanted to use these little stick pins and so I was already on the fair for deal from uh, before so I this these are pictures of us at the state fair I used the stick pins because they were kind of autumn colors and I thought that would be perf and this is a wood veneer that dear Lizzie the the extra large ones and I used the Glimmer Glaze over it. This one, um, and what color is this? Latte. Oh my gosh, it turned out so gorgeous. It first, it, I thought it was gonna sit on top, and at first it did. But then once it soaked in, it, I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. The color's beautiful, the shine is beautiful. I loved it. So, Lots of random things on this page. Scraps of paper in my stash. Um, just a lot going on here. These were in Studio Calico kit. This was in Studio Calico kit. These are the stickers uh, everyone is using that is by, let's see, um, I believe they're Heidi Swap. Yeah, they're Heidi Swap and exclusively for Studio Calico, and I used the both colors. And I just pulled a bunch of random. I mean, honestly, this is super old. 
I was just trying to use up what I had. Wood veneers. So I like how it turned out. It, I thought it was very cute. Um, this one is like the Dear Lizzie Ephemera pack. I sprayed, I don't know how much you can see, but I sprayed, I used a stencil and sprayed with, um, no, actually I used a, a, a tool like this, and this is Shadow Ink Chalk. The Hero Arts Shadow Ink. And I wanna say, not Tide Pool, the uh, Soft Pool. That's what that is. This is Heidi Swap um, Teal Splatters. Again, with the really old Kaiser Craft here and here. I just cut it in half. Those were big. They were like four by six or five by seven. Um, yeah, so this is a rub on. And of course, sequins. So that was, I thought that turned out cute. This one is, let's see. The same set of Kaiser Craft here, and it's back to the, we, well I said circus, but I meant fair. Um, we were in the petting area, and this is my youngest daughter, London. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. I'm a lucky mom. Um, so the State Fair of Texas is a really big deal here, and we always go every year. This is a old piece of metal I had in my stash. And then I used some more of those butterflies. This is Pebbles, uh, one of the sticker sheets, the little label sticker sheets. This has been in my stash forever, one of the wooden clocks that is Prima. And most of this is from my Studio Calico kit or from my stash. I love these little doilies. These are recollection doilies. So that's that one. This was also in the Kaiser Craft. And these are rub-ons. That's a rub-on. That's a rub-on. They didn't rub on very well, so I had to like fill them in. This one has more of a vintage feel. It, I was trying to go for a masculine. This is a friend of mine, Todd. And he's been friends with me for a very, very long time. We've worked together for years, off and on. And we're both in business for ourselves now. So, and I love this picture of me. I'm sorry, I've got little blue strings everywhere that are driving me nuts. I should blow those off. You know, you can take a, a heat tool and just kind of blow those off and they melt away. But I'm always afraid that they'll damage my photos. So, and this is Prima Flare. And I don't even know where I got this. I think it was Recollections. Uh, this is a really old lace, I, for lack of a better word, I'd say washi, but it's lace trim with a sticky back. Um, this is Tim Holtz, it says friends, and I stitched around it with gold, see the gold uh, thread? Really old piece of paper. These are Tim Holtz, they're those plastic ones that you get at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And that's kind of it. This one, um, I think everybody has that flare. This is one of the smaller flares and I just love them. I think they're uber cute. So yeah, that is that. Let's see. Oh, this is Kane Company. The background, it's actually kind of textured, 3D. So. I like that. I added some stitching here. So that one turned out super cute, even though it's more of a vintage feel. And so that is my layout share. And I will be back with the next one. Ta-ta for now.